what is up ladies and genitals four eyes in here coming at you coming through and in today's video i'll be ranking the best assault rifles in call of duty vanguard from worst to best these are just my opinions so feel free to agree or disagree in the comment section below this list is specifically for public matches where every single attachment is allowed without further ado let's get started in our number nine spot which is going to be the AS-44. It has the fastest fire rate in the assault rifle class in base form. The AS-44 has a quick time to kill up close with the right combination of attachments. The two biggest reasons why I haven't ranked dead last is because it takes a lot of skill to use because it has high recoil. The other reason is the first barrel you unlock, which is the 615 millimeter barrel, seems to be bugged. There is nothing in the description that states the attachment reduces aim down sight speed, but in reality, it lowers the ADS speed by a whopping 42.9%, effectively making one of the AS44's best attachment useless. The gun isn't too bad up close, but there are too many downsides for me to recommend this assault rifle. Moving on to our number 8 spot, which is the NZ-41. This assault rifle is my favorite assault rifle to use without attachments because it's a very solid weapon. However, the attachments you get after leveling it up to max level, the NZ-41 just doesn't benefit as much as the other top assault rifles do once you equip attachments. The best thing about the NZ is its high base damage at 40, meaning it can kill in 3 shots. But compared to other assault rifles on this list, there are assault rifles ranked higher that can kill in 3 shots as well, but have faster fire rates, lower recoil, and has better handling stats. Next up in our number 7 spot is the Eatra Burst Assault Rifle, which is the only burst assault rifle in the class. It's a natural burst weapon, not one where you have to convert it. The Eatra Burst is a 4 shot burst assault rifle with low recoil. The weapon is solid all around except in situations where you are constantly running into multiple enemies. Since it is a burst weapon, it doesn't have the DPS compared to the other assault rifles since it isn't a fully automatic weapon. I would definitely not sleep on the Eatra Burst since it's secretly a beast, especially with the vital proficiency. In our number 6 spot, I have the Auto Maiden. The Auto Maiden is just the easy assault rifle to use. It has one of, if not the easiest recoil patterns to control. It has the second fastest fire rate in base form. This all sounds good, but the Auto Maiden lacks the time to kill that the top assault rifles have. Sometimes when I use this weapon, it feels like I am deleting my enemies and other times I am just hitting them with gummy bears. There is one specific build that can allow the Automaton to achieve a time to kill that is comparable to the top assault rifles in the game, which is using the Zac FA short barrel combined with the Klauster 50 round magazine. However, the huge downside is the large increase in recoil. Breaking into our top 5 spot is going to be the STG44. The top 5 was very hard to rank and they are honestly so close that they can be interchangeable. If this list was made before the vital nerfs, the STG44 would have taken the crown of the number 1 assault rifle because at that time, it was able to kill people in 2 shots. After the nerf, it's still a very good assault rifle where it's good everywhere but it doesn't really excel in one area. I think it's the most complete assault rifle where it doesn't really have any weaknesses. It reminds me a lot of a Swiss army knife. The other assault rifles I rank above it just flat out kill faster than the STG44, but it's still one of my favorite guns to use in Vanguard because you can't really go wrong when using this weapon. Up next, in our number 4 spot is the new season 2 assault rifle which is the KG M40. This assault rifle has a lot of LMG characteristics with its slow handling, low recoil, and fast time to kill. With the VDD 390mm rapid barrel and the vital proficiency, the KG M40 can kill blistering fast. However, the slow handling stats caters to a more defensive playstyle when using the KG M40. It's a very good assault rifle and a great addition to Vanguard. I would highly recommend you try it out. 
because it could suit your playstyle the best. Cracking into the top 3 spot is my favorite assault rifle on this list, which is the Volk or the Volksturm Gewehr. The reason why it's my favorite assault rifle is because it handles like a submachine gun. The gun can be built to be surprisingly nimble in the close quarters engagements. It also has a competitive time to kill amongst the top ARs and SMGs in the game once you unlock the Russian short mags. If I could nitpick one thing about the Volksturm Gewehr is the recoil pattern can be quite tricky to learn since it does move horizontally. However, once you get more comfortable with the Volk, you will see why it's my favorite assault rifle. Falling short in a number 2 spot is going to be the Bar. This weapon could have easily been number 1, but I think our number 1 assault rifle is just a bit more versatile compared to the Bar. The Bar has low recoil and insane damage output, especially once you unlock the BMG rounds. What it does is it increases the Bar's damage to 68 per bullet, allowing it to kill in 2 shots, giving it the fastest time to kill in the entire assault rifle class. With the right combination of attachments, it feels like you are dying instantly when you get hit by the bar. The reason why it falls short on my list is because the bar has slow handling stats where it excels in more campy, holding down lanes and defensive playstyles. Moving on to our number one spot, which should be no surprise, is the Cooper Cup Carbine. The Cooper Carbine just does it all and deserves the number one spot. It has a fast fire rate, low recoil, great set of attachments, and a fast time to kill. You can build the weapon to have an insanely quick fire rate that goes over a thousand, which is fast enough to break defensive backs ankles like Cooper Cup, or you can build it into a long range laser beam. The gun is just good everywhere, which is why it is the best assault rifle to use in season two of Vanguard. The list can change if there are any buffs or nerfs to the assault rifles. Comment below if you agree or disagree with my list. Other than that, namaste my friends and I will talk to you all next time.